I was diagnosed several times by cervical cyst anemia. It came late. It was when I was about to go to high school that it was it got observed that I got sickle cell anemia at the age of nine years old. That that was when I it was of that that I had sickle cell anemia. Growing up with sickle cell anemia was very intense. I had several crises that I had to go to hospital, got oxygen max on, like. It was tough, it was a bad, it was a bad, it was a bad experience for me. And third edition, I was hospitalized several times and it was intense, but now I don't have much pain like before. The crisis of subsidized, I don't have much, but I have to go for several checkups. And these days, I'm away, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm the only child that has the sickle cell anemia in my family. It was bad, it was a bad experience. Everybody was hard to look after me day by day. I thank everybody for their support. I have to have support from everyone. Like my parents, my mom, my dad, they all supported me well, and I thank God for that. And it was a bad road for me through my journey of sickle cell anemia. We are, we are two, two boys, I'm the first child. And I'm the only one that has the, uh, I have sickle cell anemia. My brother is AA, and that is his own. The experience I had throughout the, my experience since I was young, I thank God for their support. My parents' genotype are AS and AS. My brother's genotype came here. I don't know how it got swelling or, I, I've had many things. Like I, I was, I've been positive about my health, and health wisely, I've been positive about my health and whatever that I've come through, Christianity and whatever people talk outside, I don't hear, I don't listen to that. I thank God because I'm still alive and I have a life to live. Some of the Christians that I heard, no negative, all they have empathy. Unlike they say some people you die at this age, if you reach 40 something or 50 years old, you would die early, or 25 to 50. But I've not had none, only empathy and encouragement from people around me. That when I reach 24 years old, it will get over me. And, and now I'm still living my life. And I thank God I don't have much crisis like before. I think physical cell patients, they have, they had a tough life to go through every day. And people calling them sicklers, I think they have a lot of bad vibes around that people are calling them sicklers. In my opinion, I think it's okay people calling you sicklers around, but you don't, you don't have to be negative about it. You have to be positive about whatever they say about you outside. You have to think positive because many, many bad vibes will come around you and you have to be confident about yourself, confident about yourself in whatever you do. You have to be confident about yourself and think straight that this is what you want, this is who you are. I've been in some relationship, but uh, I have I had no circumstances of uh, all my relationships have had good impressions. Having a relationship with a girl as an individual that has sickle cell anemia you have to be, if there's that love and affection, I think everything will go right. People around me are supportive. The friends I have are supportive. All the relationships I had are supportive, being supportive by uh, through many people. And I had all my relationships have been cool. People with sickle cell anemia, um, how to deal with depression, they have to go through a lot. They have to be their own captain in whatever they do. People should not refer to sickle cell patients as working cops because they are people with bones and they have a, they are alive and strength and everything. People should not refer to them as as, as working cops. They should refer to them as a living human being because of them, like them. They just have some similar differences just 
you don't you don't have much oxygen or intake of air in you that will make you sustain but but that that is the aspect of sickle cell patient but in your aspect you have to look at them at as as your loved ones and people around you you should recognize them in whatever you do i don't think people should stereotype sickle cell patient because they can't do much they should have a good impression on them good thinking about them that they can do more and they are fit like them but sometimes sickle cell patients have to take another step in keeping their health well and to be good in whatever they do in, in, to be good in whatever action they do or whatever they do in life that will be good for them and I advise all sickle cell patients to be to pick something that profession that is not that stressful for them at any normal life and something that is gushy for them that they should take on it and and achieve it. Um, people should look at sickle cell patients as they are as one of, of their own like they should follow and be good in relation with them with whatever, whatever aspect of life they have. They should not think of them negatively that if I come close to this person I'll contact this. Health wisely, sickle cell anemia disease and uh, is not contact it's not it's not it's not contactable like it's not something that you can contact, it's through the blood. They should think of them like people of, like, they have the same personality or the same action with them in life. I think heirs and heirs should not gamble or should not come together and marry because I think that would be, I advise them, advise the couple not to marry because that would be a bad, this one, bad idea because one of their child might come out um, positive and a career and it will collapse everything they are, the, the child future might be at stake whether will be alive at age of 24 or not they will not they might not know whether it will be alive at the age of 24 or, or not but the struggle that will what the struggle that will come through every day to take him up and down like to the hospitals i will advise ears so my advice will be I would advise heirs and heirs not to marry. Caregivers to come to their stake whenever they have, when, when a sickle cell patient has crisis, they should come to their stake and help them. They should not abstain them in whatever they do. They should not abstain sickle cell patients. They should come to their care in whatever they do and advise them in whatever aspect and I believe that will go a long way to them and remind them of their medications to take a lot of water if there's if there's that reminder they should remind them i am second michael dagak i am a psychologist i have sickle cell anemia and i'm not the working cops i'm human